Hi, this is Jeff Challen. So on MP3, unlike previous MP3s, we're MPs, we're not giving you a main function. There's no way to run this application from the command line. Instead, what we've given you is a small web server that you're free to use to test out your game and make sure it works properly. So in the screencast, I'm just going to show you how to fire that up. So I've got the solution set here, and if you want to see how the solution set works, you can always go over to CS125MP3 solution, and this, uh, this is the solution set, so this will allow you to play the game uh, between you know, these two participants, which are my dog and cat. Um, and, and this is, you can use this to, you know, as a way to sort of um, convince yourself that, um, you know, your solution is working properly. So you can see this is one, this is a, a, a four tile game played on an eight, an eight by eight board. Um, but if you want to test your own solution, um, what you do is come over here, you go to main Java web server, and then I'm going to choose run here, run web server.main. So there is a main function, it just doesn't actually accept input from the command line. Instead, what you'll see here is the starting web server on localhost 8126. So if you want to see your own version of this, you go to localhost 8126, and here's your own version of the game. This is the version that's running your own code. So this is the solution set, and so you're going to see that it's going to work um, equivalently to um, the way that the solution works online. So in this case, this is kind of a boring game, but okay, not a valid move, so it checks to make sure the moves are okay. This is one of the games, and now they're tied. Um, so anyway, so this is how you can test this interactively. Um, now, when you make a change to your code, you need to restart the web server so that it runs your new code. And in IntelliJ, there's a nice way to do that. I go over here and it's going to stop it and then automatically rebuild and restart the web server. So anytime you change something in your code to fix a bug or get something to work properly, you need to make sure that you shut down and restart the web server. You can also do this by hitting stop. Um, if the web server is stopped and I go over here, you're gonna see that there's no site at that address right now. Um, if I have this guy up again, it takes a minute, and now I'm back in business. Well, I should be back in business. Well, it's gonna take a second, so grabbing some fonts. Um, hmm, okay, there we go. Yeah, so, so this is, you know, if you wanna test locally and have some fun with this, this is how uh, to get this working. Now, we are not going to test your, the web server. The web server is not tested as part of the test suite. Um, as in typical MPs, um, you know, there's an auto grader. The auto grader runs um, the tests that we've configured. It does not run um, your web server. It just runs um, it just runs the test suite and looks at check style things and stuff like that. So the, the web server is not something that you need to get working in order to, to finish the MP, but we hope that it's a fun way for you to experiment with it. And um, later in the semester, we'll talk a little bit about how these type of web applications actually work.